Moon is a source of cosmic phenomena and hopefully a future staging point for missions to Mars and beyond. But when we start to look at the moon under a closer lens, a number of aberrant characteristics suggest that it might be hollow and that there may be a secret moon base. So why do scientists think that moon could be an alien spaceship? The hollow moon hypothesis is a suggestion that moon is hollow, usually as a product of an alien civilization. It is often called as a spaceship moon hypothesis and often corresponds with belief in UFOs or Asian astronauts. In 1970, Michael Vassin and Alexander Sherbakov of what was then the Soviet Academy of Sciences advanced a hypothesis that a moon is a spaceship created by unknown beings. Their hypothesis relies heavily on a suggestion that large lunar craters, generally assumed to be formed from material impact, are generally too shallow and have flat or even convex bottoms. They hypothesize that small materials are making up cup-shaped depression in the rocky surface of the moon, while the larger materials are drilling through a rocky layer and hitting an armed hull underneath. Between 1972 and 1977, seismometers installed on the moon by Apollo missions recorded moon quakes. The moon was described as ringing like a bell. During some of those quakes, specifically the shallow ones, this phrase was brought to popular attention in March 1970 in an article in Popular Science. When Apollo 12 deliberately clashed the ascent stage of its lunar module onto the moon's surface, it was claimed that the moon rang like a bell for an hour, leading to arguments that it must be hollow like a bell. Lunar seismology experiments since then have shown that the lunar body has shallow moon quakes that act differently from quakes on Earth due to differences in texture, type and density of planetary strata, but there is no evidence of any large empty space inside the body. Moon is the only planetary body besides Earth on which extensive seismic observations have been made. These observations have constrained the thickness of the moon crust, mantle and core, suggesting it could not be hollow. To this day, there are several theories that attempt to explain how the moon ended up orbiting our planet, though none have been absolutely accepted, leading many to believe that the moon is a spaceship. Another strange characteristic recorded on the moon from an Apollo 14 LCEPS was the presence of a cloud water vapor on the moon. After 40 years, NASA reported finding the presence of water in rock samples brought back from these missions, stating that the discovery would change how we think about the moon. A further examination showed that this water had twice the levels of deuterium isotope compared to water found on Earth. Furthermore, they said there was reason to believe that there are 600 million tons of water trapped in craters on the moon. At the time of Apollo's 14 discovery of water vapor, NASA claimed that it was the result of fractured water tanks that had leaked Earth water into the atmosphere. This cloud of vapor covered 100 square miles and lingered for 14 hours before dissipating, making NASA's explanation improbable, considering the tanks they were referring to only contained between 60 to 100 pounds of water. Why would they make such an absurd claim? Well, we will be exploring more and it's quite soon that we will be leaving for Moon and Mars. Do you know how colonization on Mars will happen and why we can move there? Mmm, that sounds like another story of fine.